Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and I, myself, and everybody in the game knows that there are a ton of vanities within Pokemo. An absolute, just metric crap ton. So, how do we understand what vanities are good? I get the questions all the time, you know, what's your favorite vanities, Petrowski? Vanities are all going to come down to preference. It's obviously just visuals and just personal experiences, and all of our opinions are going to mold what makes a good vanity. Today, I have something very cool to show you. This should be linked first thing in the description as well. We have a complete vanity tier list and i believe this has every single vanity in all of pokemon which is pretty astounding there's a lot of vanities um i didn't count all of them or go through all of them exactly we see like the new lucky gold dragon for example i don't know if it has the lucky gold and the lucky red maybe it's just one of each variant oh no there's there's the lucky red actually as i as i eat my words um there's a lot of vanities on this list. It's going to take a while, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. I went ahead and uh, ranked a lot of the boring stuff. I think these are all, like, just different t-shirts. Like, this is no sleeves, for example. This is, like, I ranked all these F tier just to get those out of the way because it would be very, very boring to rank. A lot of a lot of stuff, honestly, on here is kind of dry, and we'll try to get through stuff kind of quickly. So, first things first, we have this, like, Santa outfit. I'm not even going to know the names of everything or recognize everything off the top, but I'll try to do the best I can. Uh, I believe this is, like, the Santa outfit. Pretty neat. It's got like three little or like maybe it's a snowman it might actually be a snowman type outfit not quite though uh this is like c to b tier i think i'm gonna leave it b tier for now skull outfit skeleton outfit that's a really cool one just a really solid base i feel like this decent a is pretty fair a lot of these are gonna be elf bots this is like a candy corn type outfit i like the coloring to a decent extent but we'll put it at c a lot of the elf bots coming up here this is dark elf bot i believe um this is like grass i think or bug and then kind of similar here situations a lot of these are probably gonna go c tier dark is obviously cooler we'll put that at least b tier a lot of the elf bots are really gonna come down to how you use it not a fan of the brown elf bots though just a, i'm not a fan of muted or like nude colors in general like browns tans just not really for me oh we've got like a this is like a santa's little helper i believe outfit got some pretty strong color differences in the red and green uh definitely better than we'll put it in b tier honestly for now and then we've got this seems like a blue elf bot or just i'm not even sure if they're they're elf bot we'll have to keep going through uh this is honestly pretty cool the blue at least looks pretty solid we've got fire elf bot i assume i don't know what this is uh, the color differences are pretty cool we'll leave it at c tier uh this could be like this seems like poison ish aesthetic or this could be poison <laughs> this could be psychic or something it's always tough to tell with these i'll move this i like the colors on this i'll move that up to b rest of these see d tier for the for the muted browns d tier for whatever this is this looks like the penguin ish it's something similar penguin ish body outfit this is the the bunny top we'll move that up to a tier so two body pieces in a tier a lot of the body pieces are kind of tough to rate without references to like other vanities so go up to b tier this is like the patriot outfit like uncle sam this is like probably b or c it's kind of funny. We'll put it in B. Uh, the ghost. This is the ghost purger's uniform. I think this vanity is actually super underrated. Um, decently cheap still for when it was released, I believe, in game. Um, here's another dark type. Psychic like, sure, just C tier. A lot of this stuff is going to get C tier. I'll try to zoom out once we start putting a bunch more stuff in the tiers. No S tier vanities yet. We want to preserve those spots. This is a pretty cool one, though. This like icy look. This is whatever to me. I don't know why I really don't like this color combination. Also, whatever. Um, also, don't even notice much of a vanity. Here's like a snowman. Or like almost like a button-up thing. We'll go ahead and put that in E or C or D. We'll do C for now. Uh, another muted brown. Uh, I don't even know what this vanity is, but it's a cool green. A little button-up. Put it in B for now. I believe this is the pig outfit. I'm a fan of it. We'll put it up there. It's honestly... It's not as great as some other things. Some other pink tops but we'll put it up there for now i don't even know what this is but i like it i'm gonna put this in a actually i'm not even sure what this vanity is but i like this like orange obviously a lot of the browns have been you know lamer i like this darker brown with the orange that's actually a tier for me very very cool this is the tyranitar body tyranitar outfit i think it can be used for a lot of cool things i think a or b is totally fair honestly for that uh this is the jack-o-lantern body we'll put that in b tier uh i don't know what this is but i like it as well this like purple pink I, it's pretty cool um oh i see what that is that's the rattata that's the rattata body the purple one and there's also a black rattata body gotcha that's what this is uh, i think this will be a tier lower 
this is gonna get really this is gonna get really big really quick let me zoom out for a sec this might be easier to help with it but it's harder to see the vanities themselves they're already pretty small just we'll stay zoomed in and we'll just scroll i think this is better so we can get a better view of all the all the actual you know get a better view of the actual things i like this vanity a lot underrated uh the nurse's top the nurse's outfit i think it's really underrated this is the clown outfit uh just for the sake of it i think i think just for the sake that it's a clown outfit kind of funny probably a tier um i don't know what this is kind of generic red and green probably d tier i don't know why i don't like that one this is like the army camo outfit i think c could do some cool stuff with it this is the pharaoh outfit in game um i like the color scheme but it's really hard to make it work it's really hard to get an outfit going with it aside from just the stereotypical pharaoh's outfit uh this looks like one of the like like one of the robes but it's hard to tell i really like the color design on that though with the light blues muted kind of boring brown suit not for me um, I don't even know what this is. This looks like white nothingness. I'm just going to put that in F tier. Samurai armor. A lot of these it's tough because a lot of them look a lot better when they're colored as well or dyed. Uh, like the samurai armor is a very cool looking vanity in my opinion when it's dyed. <clears throat> Doesn't look great here though. We're getting past the bodies to a lot of the cooler stuff as well. I think the bodies are like the driest part of this list. So apologies. I feel like outfits are the tops or the bodies or whatever. It's kind of the vanity you see the least usually when you play the game. This is a sick vanity though. A lot of people use this. I almost put this S tier. I'm gonna put it A as like a fire red type suit. Um, very cool vanity in my opinion. Not quite sure what this is. Black and white. I mean solid will put it in C tier. This is Team Magma outfit. It's gotta be at least B tier, honestly. Another white nothingness. I don't even know what it is. We'll put it there. Uh, a suit. I think solid C tier. Maybe even B tier is like an actual suit. Uh, actually, we'll put Tux C tier, suit B tier, because obviously Tuxes are inferior to suits based in true and real. Um, this is like the. Well, I wonder what anime this is a reference to. The like DBZ Goku style robes. We'll put that in A tier. Not a huge DBZ fan, but nothing against it either. Is this the fairy top? That should be here somewhere. I think I think this is the fairy elf bot top, which I'm a huge fan of. I'll put that in A tier for sure. Nothing in S tier yet for me, but I think bodies in general are just hard to find an S tier for. This is like platinum armor. Memer. I, I don't love the color scheme. We'll put it in C. This is like nothing. Nothing, yeah. This is like nothing. Um... We already did the Rattata, the black Rattata. I don't, I don't know what this is, but we'll put it in D. I actually, wow, I don't know what this is, but I, it looks like it's kind of similar to the samurai armor in terms of shaping. I'm not familiar with this item, but I really, really like the shaping on this. Um, like the sharp shoulders. I want to put that in A. I want to see someone do something with creative with that at a fashion show contest. So I haven't done a fashion show contest for quite a while. And I really recommend if you guys want to, you know, have a reason to show off your vanities and put together a cool outfit. I really did get the idea. If you're familiar with Asmongold, he does transmog competitions in in, uh, in World of Warcraft where you kind of dress up in like a vanity, a fashion scape, whatever, and come show it off. And I think that's really good. He would rate you, you know. I think it's a cool way to show off what you have. I like the bright, the bright green on this. Um, the cool way to put it in at BT. I almost want to put an A, B tier. It's a cool way to show off what you have and also give you another reason to want to farm these things. Another another motive to want to go collect these vanities is with fashion contests, with shiny ratings that I do. I haven't done them for a long time because so I put them on hold during event season. Because why would I why would I do fashion contests and and you know shiny ratings during event event season when it's just it's so busy? Players don't have the time to show up for them. I don't have the time to host them. And also players are constantly getting new, you know, vanities all the time during that. So it just kind of makes sense to just wait. That's nothing. Um, this is a decently cool like Team Plasma armor. Seem ish. This is the Link outfit that I feel like that people use for everything. The issue with the, everybody does the the Link look in every video, in every single video game, in every MMO you've ever played, you've probably seen someone try to dress up like Link from Zelda. It just every so I'm just I'm just I'm just sick of it. I'm rage putting it in C because I'm just bored of it. Um, I really like this little gold armor, honeybee type <laughs> aesthetic. We're gonna put that all the way up in A tier, man. Kinda high for that, but whatever. Kinda boring green, but not bad. Not a bad budget vanity. Um, not familiar with this. I feel like this could be cool. We'll put it in C. Don't know what this is, can't even really tell. 
This is actually this is long sleeves. This so this is like another basic vanity. All of these are most of the basic ones in F tier. Um, this goes to D tier. I think the long sleeves, the the contrast of the long sleeves being black and darker compared to the white T-shirt, I think it looks good. Uh, another suit type memer. We'll put that up in C. There's a lot of different. It's crazy how much variety. Pokemon's been out for what 11 years now. We've got a lot of varieties and vanities at this point. Team Rocket outfit, a solid A tier. This has been a vanity. This has been around since 20 since I've played in 2013. Um, that was one of the more expensive vanities back then, being like 55k or something like that. You know, way back then. Um, I don't know what this is. Don't like it. This is the Tauros outfit. It's better than other muted browns. So. Uh, sure. Honestly, a lot of these muted browns. I'm actually gonna move all these down to F tier. I don't. I just. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't even didn't move them down sooner. I don't like boring. This is like a little more orange. We'll keep that up there. And the brown suit could be used. That's, that's better. That's better. Um, this is the Lunar New Year outfit. Like the Chinese zodiac outfit. This is pretty cool. I feel like this could be used for cool stuff. We'll put it in A tier. We're almost out of back slots, which is one of the cooler. Or if we kind of just go in different... Yeah, back slots are coming up here in a sec, which are one of the cooler vanity slots, easily. Um, pretty boring hat, whatever. Cool starter hats. I like the bandana, though. I think it's the bandana. I think my uh, cool Duder account has that. Giant turtle shell. Man, this is this is close. This is either A tier or S tier. I'm going to leave it in A for now. That's one that's really close to S for me, me personally. Uh, Golden Dragon Mask. It's neat, but it's a little cheesy for me. I'm not a fan. Golden Tiger, about the same. Um, some people rate those differently. The This is like the Thunder Pow. What is this? Thunder Pow. It's like the Raikou. I believe it's like the Raikou tail type thing. It's, I'm not going to put it in C tier. It's just too clunky, in my opinion. Um, these are what, what wings. There's going to be so many wings. Is it angel wings, I believe. I believe these are angel wings. These are solid. Once again, really depends on the on the coloring and stuff on those as well. We'll put angel wings at at B tier. It's like a normal... Oh, this is the cotton tail. This is the bunny tail. <laughs> Our first S tier vanity. Of course, it's the, the rabbit cotton tail. Absolutely true and real. Um, here is like a neutral, once again, elf bot hat. Don't care. Not a fan personally. Uh, Demon wings. If I could just not right click on accident. Demon wings. These were like the coolest wing back in the day. I, I didn't like them as I thought I preferred the fairy wings. We'll get those in a second. They're a little, little more interesting. Um, but the demon wings are undeniably very, very cool. Uh, the nutcracker backslot item, C tier. C tier for a backslot item is kind of crazy. I think it's kind of an underrated. I think it's underrated, but it's not not that good um the christmas lights and like reindeer thing i'm not a huge i think it's too cheesy not a fan the futu now we're talking underrated vanity in my opinion it looks goofy as all hell okay but if you can make it work it's very it's even more impressive sleigh bell ribbons these cost like 80 mil <laughs> for like this little tiny addition to your character and due to that we'll put them in c tier uh, red unity cape. These are also up to like 30 mil. Green unity cape, like 40 mil. The green unity cape. Okay, the unity capes when they came out, I feel like every single player was like, eh, I don't really like that. Uh, myself included. And now that time has passed, I really like the green unity cape. I actually would put this in A tier. I think the green unity cape has is actually like really grown on me. It's actually like that color of like teal is just so cool looking. In my opinion, uh, ox horns very underrated. I'm a huge fan of this vanity. Put them in A tier. I think it's just an easy, solid vanity that can work in a lot of situations. Um, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen these in game. The like combi type, like little be is it cutie fly? I've never seen this. I've never. I don't know if I've ever seen that in game, but I like it. Uh, the torch is just solid A tier. Probably one of the best love slot vanities. Also represents for those who don't know, the torch and the pitchfork. We'll get to the pitchfork here in a sec are put into the game they're only put into the game into the gift shop when the players are riding over something little fun fact that a lot of pokemon players may have never seen in their in their lifetime i think the last one was like back in 2022 when they missed the anniversary date by so many so much time um they always implement the fortune pitch for to allow the players to to riot which is very funny and i'm a huge fan of uh the zombie mask i'm a huge fan of i actually invested pretty aggressively in this item it didn't make out like a bandit but i made out solid on it so far so we'll put that in a tier uh tiger tail I, it's not bad if it's your thing if that's if that's your thing more power to you not my thing uh the lollipop oh come on s tier 
probably my current favorite glove slot. I just love goofy little stuff. I, I don't know. That's what I'm... Like, you can see bunny tail, lollipop, or my S tiers. I just like goofy little memers. Um, we got the chicken dinner hat. You know what? I don't... I don't acknowledge this hat enough. It's pretty funny. I'll put it in B tier because of that. Uh, super boring, no, gray, steel, elf bot. Don't care. Uh, could look good in an outfit, but don't like it alone. Mage's staff. We, I could sit here and talk about the economic impact and the weirdness of this vanity all day. Everybody and their nan, everybody thought that this vanity was going to be like a hyper expensive vanity one day. I think it, I think during the event itself, it was like four to seven mil, which is pretty insane for a non ultra rare. It might be ultra rare, but it doesn't say it on it. I don't think it's ultra rare or a non ultra rare vanity being like four to seven mil. That was pretty unbelievable during the events. And a lot of people invested in them at like two mil, four mil, whatever. And everybody thought it was going to be a good investment. These have tanked to like 800k nowadays, maybe like 800k to 1 mil. I still think it's an awesome vanity, but holy, a lot of people lost a lot of money on that. Um, I actually ranked, at the time, I did like a top five investments for that event. And I think I put the um, the Mage's staff at number five, because I, I was like, my reasoning was when a vanity is too obvious and too obviously a good investment, um, a lot of people invest into it and that hurts the, you have to like really get like a great under, you know, undersupplied vanity that has will have demand in the future that people are sleeping on. Um, but major staff really unfortunately tanked really hard. Psychic training helmet, another vanity that just has not held value. Um, I really like it. It's obviously like the, the Mewtwo mask from certain from future Pokemon. Um, I really like it. It's only like one mil or so in game. Really cheap, very edgy, cool vanity. Um, edgy being used as like kind of a negative, <laughs> you know, term. I prefer goofy over edgy in most, mo yeah, in most uh, situations. The red skull mask. I mean, this is an expensive vanity. I think hundreds of mil. Um, a lot of people want it. Or red reaper mask or whatever. I think it's what it is. Yeah, red reaper mask, not skull mask. Excuse me. Red reaper mask. Um, it's objectively pretty cool. We'll put it in A or B tier. It's really close. I'll put it in A tier because it's hard. To, it's hard to own. It's hard to get. Glistening purple wings. I mean, I wear these. Are great, oh, fantastic. I think the best wing in the game. Very, very cool. Glistening blue. I'm just not a, as big of a fan of the color blue. Put it in A tier. Uh, skull mask. This is the shadow skull mask. I actually have a really hot take on this. The shadow skull mask is saw. It's a great vanity. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Great vanity. However. The normal skull mask with the red eyes versus the blue eyes and the little the little like claw symbol. I think this is cooler. I'm actually putting I think the skull helmet is better than the shadow skull and the shadow skull is multiple millions. Normal skull is a couple hundred K three to four hundred K. I think the I think the skull helmet is really sick. Uh, red Oni mask. I also think is, an, is a great vanity. Um, it's like goofy and edgy at the same time, which if you can pull that off kind of a good look. Uh, the Rattata hood like c to d tier probably d tier i who cares um ufo hat super underrated this hat has a fantastic effect if you like activate it it like has a little like glow and like hover effect and like the little ufo there's a little abduction little scene it's very very cute uh we've got the jester hat underrated kind of forgotten about we'll put it in like b tier yeah i think b is fair uh the crowbat hat i like that he's smiling kind of cute but c tier uh, airplane on the back. I've never forgotten about vanity. Kind of C tier. It's a toy airplane. Tiger thing, D tier for me. Red Gyarados hat. I could see this being cool on, on a specific like outfit, but it's D tier for me. Temporal cape. This is like, what, 40 mil right now? This was the most recent ultra rare added to Pokemo. A lot of people do not like this vanity. It was accidentally added to the game as a dieable vanity, so it was really expensive, and then it, once it... Once it was a bug, it wasn't supposed to be dieable. It tanked down to like 20 mil, and then it rose back up to 40 mil for whatever reason. I think this cape actually looks good. Um, I like the spikiness, the sharpness of this cape. A lot of people don't. Understandable. The flaming sunglasses. After, I, now that we're post the body, I feel like I I know a lot more of these vanities by name, which is nice. Flaming sunglasses are pretty cool. B tier they use for some really great outfits. The Decidua flower. A lot of people are over buying the fuck out of this vanity right now. It's like way too expensive for what it is. It's a seasonal vanity that costs like six to eight hundred k, which makes no sense to me. Um, I yeah, I, there's just a high demand for it. I guess I'll put it in B tier. This is the like poncho. The poncho can actually look cool, but I don't love that it's. 
white here. Um, purple Cthulhu mask. I really like this. Easily A tier. Um, I prefer that Cthulhu mask over the green, like the other, whatever the other one is. Uh, let's see if we can just find on yeah the green one i'm gonna here i'll drag this up to like b or c honestly i think i like the purple one a lot more but i don't actually know it's kind of close obviously i think traditional cthulhu color is probably more green and then has the purple wings but i like the the purple cthulhu Alrighty, another elf bot this is like poison elf bot hat i'm i do not like elf bots hats man elf bot hats are one of the hardest vanities to sell slash trade because you're they can have a lot of value like some of the elf bot hats have are like 300 mil or some shit like some of them are extremely expensive it's ridiculous but you're looking for the perfect seller or the perfect buyer for the perfect seller it's just it's very very hard one of the only elf bot hats that i actually like that i i think this might be one of the best investments in the game right now um not financial advice just my opinion the fairy elf bot hat dude this pink style santa hat is like 400k right now i this vanity could easily be in in time like 10 million plus like i think it's, I think it's a fantastic fantastic vanity really comes the, the supply was pretty low as well i think it's super underrated all right pikachu ears not a fan i'm not a fan of pikachu sorry the sweet coon hat uh, it's like c tier that's fine the flaming motorcycle a lot of people are saying that the flaming motorcycle has been dethroned by the dragon mounts and i disagree um i think it's you know the dragon mounts are pretty cool i think i think certain outfits are going to call for the flaming motorcycle and certain outfits are going to call for the dragon mounts it just depends on outfit dependent situation the candy cane this is like a 400 300 mil vanity extremely expensive vanity uh very cool fun fact this is actually the vanity i'll put an a tier honestly this is the vanity that that made that pressured me to make the worst financial mistake that i've ever made in all of pokemon uh back in like 2016 2015 when this vanity came out it was like 20 or 30 mil during the event and nowadays that's kind of common for the ultra rare which is crazy to think about um but that was not that was the first time we had ever seen a vanity, a vanity item be 20 or 30 mil during an event that was absolutely absurd so i thought that maybe it would end up being profitable to open xmas presents and try to get it and yeah i lost all my money i i spent i spent like so much time saving up like seven to eight mil cash and seven to eight mil cash back in 2015 2016 was like that was really good that was a lot of everstone farming on mount ember back in the day when everstones were 20k a piece it was a very 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 different game you'd make like 80k an hour farming <laughs> everstones um that was that was a tough time and i spent all my seven mil or whatever um all of it gambling and then i liquidated my entire almost my entire account sold all a bunch of my pvp pokemon at the time sold a bunch of things um and got like five to seven more mil spent all that opened all that got nothing um and then i just quit and that was when i opened like three holly hair clips back then and i and i ended up sell rage selling those years later for like 100k for like 100k a piece and now they are uh 80 mil that's that's a that's a terrible terrible financial story and just make all the mistakes while you're young i was dumb you know I don't care about these cattails, whatever. Pink present hat. I like it. It's goofy. Put it in B tier next to the Cthulhu hat. Uh, brown werewolf, not for me. Another vanity that actually I thought that would these would be like really good investments and they weren't. Uh, the brown werewolf and gray and gray werewolf did not end up being good investments. Unfortunately, I, re I really thought they would. I think everybody thought they would. Speaking of gray werewolf, I'll put an H. I think the gray does look really cool. The gray did end up winning out long term as the as the quote-unquote investment I think they, they both lost money though pretty aggressively this will be d tier elf bot chef's hat i'll put it in c tier whatever kind of cute lucky red dragon mount i'm gonna put it in a tier i do like it a lot i, I like the flaming motorcycle more honestly um we'll see if a different beast type mount comes out that's more to my preferences what is this a dog shit haircut i don't know what this I guess so. A uh, little like red cap. It's like D to C. Very neutral vanity. Chicken gobbler D tier. Red eyeball mast. I think the red eyeball masts. A lot of this video is gonna be just talking about underrated vanities and like investments and stuff. No, none of this is financial advice. Just my personal opinion. Uh, the eyeball mast, in my opinion, I do not understand how they're so cheap still, or quote unquote so cheap. A lot of people seem to not like vanities that take over your entire face. Like the, for example, like the zombie mask, the psychic training helmet, the werewolf mask, the eyeball mask, or like, it depends. It has to be, it's a really risky vanity for it to take over your entire face and like take over your hair slot. It has to be very, very cool. I, I'm, I'm shocked the, 
the eyeball masks are still i think they came out in like what 2018 or something like that or maybe 2019 something like that and um maybe 2021 i'm not sure a couple years ago and i think they're under their rp price like they, they think they were rp items and they're still cheaper than like they're they're good vanities man i'm surprised they're still like four mil or whatever Disco Afro, like the, the split Afro from like Pokemon Coliseum. One of the coolest Afro. I mean, very, very cool. I'll put it in B tier. B tier. Uh, I do not like F tier. I do not. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Hate this. Not a fan. Uh, I know it matches the like Royal Unity Cape color. Or whatever. I bloated fucking air balloon hat. Not a fan. Um, turkey backside D tier. Uh, underrated. This little like sack. This little sack. It's a solid B tier vanity, man. Uh, Witch's Hat, adds a C tier, classic, classic simple vanity, uh, little blue gamer kitty ears, I guess C tier, um, people seem to really like this pump, pumpkin, like, little top hat, I think it's pretty cool, I'll put it in B tier, B tier is solid, uh, this is also another, another jester, this is clown hat, I believe, not jester hat, I'm not a fan, I'll put it in D tier, Dragon Wings, the Dragonite Wings, these just came out absolutely fresh to the game, fresh to the presses, A tier, easy peasy. Bunny Hat, it's like an RP, we'll put it in B tier. Uh, boring Poker, this to me different, all the different colors in the game, why don't you put it to C tier because of the color changes on this, I think that's what makes it very, very cool. Uh, normal Afro, I mean, S tier, my favorite hairstyle in game, looks awesome, good memes. Uh, Battle Axe. Battle Axe could get moved up to S tier over time. I'm gonna put an A tier. This, van this event had some good vanities, man. I, I saw someone talking about how like, they didn't like the vanities in this event. And, you know, obviously to each their own. But I think as a community, we kind of agreed this event had some of the best vanities we've ever seen in, like, one event, you know? Battle Axe, Dragon Wings, you know, the the Red Dragon Mount. Like, that's three of this of this most recent Lunar New Year events, vanities in all in A tier. That's really good. If you've got three A tier vanities in one thing, it's extremely good. Um, here on the plague masks, a lot of people love the plague masks, um, and I get it. I do get it. It's just not for me, is what I'll say. I get the aesthetic, I get the appeal. It's just not really for me. The like, uh, this is like bobble hat or something. This is either Trick Kitty or Pump Cat. I think it's Pump Cat. I mean, it's undeniably cute. Put it in B tier. I like these wings. These are under uh, butterfly wings or something. Underrated wings, easily A tier. Uh, pink gamer kitty ears. We'll put them in at least B, I guess, over the blue ones. Uh, but I like the bone, dude. People sleep on the bone. The the held the shadow bone is probably cooler. We'll put that in A tier. Other bone in B tier. But the bone is such a the bone handle the bone club. Such a budget vanity. It's such a good budget vanity, man. Wow, this is a long video, isn't it? Uh, thanks to whoever made this tier list. I think their thing is just Al Jack. So whoever you are out there, Al Jack, I appreciate you for even creating this. We've got the Rattata Tail. That's D tier. Uh, uh, this is like the... I'm not sure which... Is this Dragon? I'm not sure which typing this is for Elfbot. Put it in D tier. Um, I can't tell what this is. D tier. Pharaoh's Headdress... It's so hard. I'm putting it in D tier. It's so hard to make this work. It's so hard to fit it with other outfits and have it not look silly. Like, I feel like a lot of the Pharaoh stuff is so color specific and so design specific that it kind of has to just go with the Pharaoh outfit, which is kind of lame. Um, boring, nothing, vanity, D tier. Uh, the Majora mask. I mean, oh, you know, the uncopyrighted. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, I, it's It's pretty cool. But I don't know why. I think I'm just a hipster. All the Zelda stuff cringes me out, even though obviously Zelda's fantastic. But I think everybody who tries to look like Zelda or Zelda type things in other games, I don't know why it irritates me. <laughs> it's just so common. It's just very, very common. Um, I don't know what this is. Is this red eyes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, put that in F tier. Burger hat. <laughs> The burger hat's fucking funny, dude. I'll put it in A tier. I, I don't see many people wear it. I think it's like a PvP reward or something. Um, we'll put another elf bot in D tier. Now, this is the trick kitty, I believe. I think this is better than the other one. I'll put it in A tier. Put it in A tier. Um, spiky hair. It's whatever. Spiky hair. Uh, ghostly lantern. How sad is this? An ultra rare vanity being put in C tier. I do think it's underrated, but... It's an ultra rare vanity that costs like one to two million Pokien. And the supply is, it's just, yeah, it's not, 
Not good, unfortunately. I don't even know what this is. Looks really goofy. I might put that in F tier, actually. Apologies. Um, goofy as hell. Not a fan. Too goofy. Like, goofy and not funny. It's hard to be goofy and not funny. I like goofy and funny. But if you're goofy and not funny, what are you... Like, this? What are you doing? Um, the Hell Cat. This is a cool underrated vanity. The Hell Cat Hood, I believe, is what this is. I think this is really solid, man. I'd say B or C tier. I'm going to put it in C. I think it's solid. A uh, little boring cap. Don't care. Uh, I wish there was a F minus tier for the comb over. This is the worst hairstyle in the entire game. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is like F minus, like horrible tier. Christmas lights. These are kind of expensive, I think. Or a C tier on them. Koban. Where's my, oh, where's my Koban investors? Where's my, I think I own like 77 Kobans in game. And <laughs> this is not price manipulation by putting this up here. True and real. Um, I, I, I like, the, I do like the Kobot, okay? Um, this is like majestic or beautiful butterfly wings. These are, these are honestly very cool. Easily A tier. Uh, poisonous? Dude, I do not know why people don't like this vanity. I think it just tapes up a lot, I guess, and it's hard to match with, but the, the Venusaur poisonous flower hat, dude, is sick. It has one of the best animations in game, in my opinion, with like the poisonous cloud that it puffs out of it. Very, 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 very cool. Um, foxtail. Not for me. Uh, the green Xmas hat. It's kind of goofy and uh, to be funny enough. We'll put it there. Another hyper, hyper underrated vanity. I don't know why this vanity is so cheap. The like ectoplasm goggles or something is what they're called. If you look up, are these like night? These are the night vision goggles or something, aren't they? A tier. Very, 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 very cool. Um, and they, might be, they might be ecto. I'm not sure. They might be the ectoplasm goggles. I think they're super, super cool. Red Christmas, once again, goofy enough to be funny. Um, plague mask, not for me. At least it's purple. I'll put it in B tier. I like the color. The purple way more than the green. Ranger antlers. I'm pretty sure this is an expensive vanity. I don't care for it. Kind of simple, kind of boring. Snowman, memer. I'll put it in C tier. C tier is good for that. Uh, pumpkin, like little satchel. The pumpkin bucket. I think it's a solid C tier. Got a lot of scrolling to do at this point. Pumpkin hat, once again, C tier. I think it's solid. Uh, the gold dragon. I don't like the gold dragon as much as the red. It's going to go B tier for me. Um, but I could see a lot of people seem to, I think more people seem to prefer the golden. Winged helmet. This, this item's gotten really expensive and it's uh, dyeable slash colorable now. But I've never been a huge fan of it. I'm going to put it in C tier. I'm going to put it in C tier. It's way, yeah. I'm going to put this, I don't know what this is. Nothing. Uh, ice cream hat. I almost want to put this in S. I think I do put it in S. I, I think this is goofy enough, and it's funny, and it's interesting, and it's dyeable, so you can call. I, yeah, I, I really, I think the ice cream hat's underrated. Uh, this is probably one of the better elf bots. We'll put it in C. Snow globe hat, so underrated. I'm gonna crank it up to A tier, man. Another hyper underrated. A lot of these vanities in this like 2018 to 2021 era that I feel like haven't price spiked yet. Super underrated. Is this the straw hat? I don't know why it's like not colored yellow. Um, if it is, it should be like C tier. The the one piece, the Luffy fans. Um, I'm not one of them, unfortunately, but I respect it. Uh, Pharaoh's back slot. To be fair, if you're gonna do one of the Pharaoh items, this one's probably the best one. But once again, they're just so hard to match. Pitchfork, not nearly as cool as the torch. C tier for me. This is actually a sick. What is this called? It's one of the Lunar New Year, one of the Chinese New Year. At, oh, what is this called? I forget what it's called in game exactly, but it's a sick vanity, a sick hat. Honestly, A tier for me. I'm a fan. Uh, the Miss Magius fucking hat. I do. I don't know why. I'm sorry. A lot of people might love. It might be like S tier for some. It's F tier for me. I just don't like that look. I think it looks too goofy. White Rabbit plush. I mean, this is A tier. One of the most one of the most fast moving expensive vanities I've ever seen. Uh, it's like 38, 40 mil right now. Is ridiculous. A tier. Great vanity. Don't care what, don't know what this is. Don't care. Um, this is like the psychic bird, the like Galarian Articuno type mask, like C tier. The uh, stocking back slot item. I think it's solid, underrated as, uh, once again, B tier, probably like 700K or so at the moment. Uh, the fat motorcycle. Why would you ever go this when you could do the other things? It's still one of the better, maybe C tier. I respect if you if you rock it. Don't like this dumb turkey gobbler. Don't like this. Christmas sleigh, you know what? It's up there with the flaming motorcycle, in my opinion. The two S tier. I really the Christmas sleigh has fantastic sound design. 
and it was it was like the first in my opinion very cool mount to be added this is nothing what are these these are like fucking firework arms why <laughs> i think they're like a glove slot but these look like his fireworks for arms um I, it's goofy enough put it in d tier one of the cooler elf bots will put it in c tier this is like dark type or something dark or psychic i don't like these it's like an rp item that i think is whatever Honestly, I think, ah, no, it should, it should be D. It should be D. It, F's, a, F's a little harsh for that. Um, uh, type of sunglasses, type memer, D tier, whatever. I don't even know what ape this is off the top of my head. I don't think it's the, we already did the, I think we already did the poncho, I think. Um, is this the proton, the proto backpack? This is so underrated. This is so underrated. Another one of those 2018 A, A tier. This this backpack is sick. Proton backpack, I believe is what it's called. Proto. So sick. So underrated. Um, the Panchim sort of hood. I I don't know. I'm not a fan. Uh, I didn't even know we... Ha Wait, I didn't know this existed. Swinub backpack? This is like A tier. The the thought process behind this is so cute. I've not, I don't even know that. I didn't know that existed. I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, I don't like the cap, sunglasses, whatever. This is the Tyranitar hood. Because the Tyranitar will put it up to like D tier, but it looks... Eh, maybe C not really great this is honestly this is goofy enough to where we'll put it goofy and funny enough we'll put it up to c tier i don't know what the what this is uh raccoon tail d could see it working for certain outfits the retro games handheld the game boy backslot item a tier fantastic fantastic i'm strolling so much now a uh, whatever cape uh pigtail i like pigs so we'll put it up to c tier that's my logic that's my reasoning uh another one of the cooler elf bots for sure the ice elf bot this might actually be b tier this might be like the best elf bot hat the only one that i think is like actually pretty freaking cool uh bug catcher net fantastic budget as hell like under 100k like b tier great vanity yeah fantastic broomstick this is an expensive i think a couple hundred mil i'm not a fan of this vanity i'll put it in c tier c to yeah we'll put it in b honestly i could see it working for a lot of outfits I'll put it in B. Earmuffs, don't care. Scythe. For a lot of people, this is like their dream vanity. A lot of people start playing Pokemon and they're like, you know what? My financial goal, my vanity goal is the Scythe one day. It's like a five to 600 mil vanity. It depends. It kind of spiked. I've seen it at 1.2 bill at one point, you know, for, for a very short period of time. Um, for a lot of people, this is a big, big, big vanity. I'm going to put it at B tier for me personally. For a lot of people, that's S or A. Uh, I really like the fairy wings. Underrated, putting them at A tier. I wore them for a long time. The pink, I like uh, dye them pink. Um, is it Team Rocket on YouTube? Team Rocket on YouTube has been wearing this recently, and it's kind of been getting me. I kind of, I didn't, wasn't really a huge fan, but I kind of. The more time you spend with something, you kind of like it more and more. I'll put it at A tier. I actually, I don't know if it's a mummy outfit or exactly what it is. Gingerbread on the back slot. You know what? B tier, man. Goofy, silly, he's got a smile on his face. Uh, the turkey tail D tier. Uh, this is a uh, so this is a Valentine's RP item that like returns every like the heart winged backpack. Um, I think it actually is super good. It's like not used very often and not very like it's not very difficult to get. It's kind of whatever. Um, I really like. I think it's underrated though. The more sunglasses. I think sure it's pretty D tier. Whatever depends on the outfit. Another rat tail. Why do I have so many tails? This is the oh, this is an interesting one. This is the Rockstar Eye vanity, and it's a very small difference. Just the little like red tick mark they have under the eye. That's it. Um, but it's a pretty expensive vanity. I'm not sure, like 25 mil, I think, or more. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I actually really like it. I think it's a really subtle. I'm a fan. Um, this is like the shoulder bag, F tier. Uh, you know what? The dunce cap type thing. I with the little pellet propeller hat. That's B tier. Uh, the Iron Man hat, I think people are stepping onto. I think you can make it look really cool. Honestly, that should be B tier, I think. The Iron Man hat, it can look very, very, very cool. Nerd glasses, you know, honestly, they're easily the coolest glasses variant, in my opinion. I don't know what this is, nothing. Teddy bear, another super underrated A tier. Hyper underrated vanity. I think people don't realize that, like the... Dude, imagine an outfit that's like the White Rabbit plush plus the... Teddy bear backpack. I think that would look sick. It would look cute. Um, I don't, don't. Nope. Don't like that. Uh, this is like D tier, whatever. Little rat, rat face. Um, 
the Tauros tail. I'm not a fan of tails. Shitty brown colored elf bot. Samurai hats I like so much less than the samurai armor. I'm going to put it in D tier. Uh, pig hat is just funny enough to make it into C tier. This is like the psychic elf bot. I think it should at least be C, I guess. Uh, the pig knight hat is at least D for being a little funny. Gingerbread hat. Honestly, never really liked it until I saw a little smile on its face. We'll put it in C tier for that. Leprechaun hat. Kind of underrated. I don't know how this... I don't know how you get this vanity. It might be like an RP one. I'll put it in B tier, honestly. Might be like a static RP one. Same with the camo hat. I, I mean... Yeah, I've seen some cool outfits, but D tier. Shoulder bag. F tier. Pikachu tail. I'll put it in at least D, but I'm not a fan. Golden Rabbit ma Mask is freaky, and I kind of like it. Like, it looks creepy with the red eyes, and I kind of like it for that. Where is where the other ones? I'll honestly... I'll put it in C tier. It's not quite up with the other ones. It's a little too... It's a little gimmicky, but... Uh, boring cap. Uh, boring... Eh, the business hat. Funny type. Mimer. I'll put it in, like, D tier. Skitty ears. We'll put in, like, C tier. Probably a good vanity, but it, I'd have to see them... Actually, these are just an RP vanity. Static RP. I'm pretty sure static RP shop, but that's a, that's a cool. I was like, oh, there. here's the bandana that I use for my cool Duder account. A tier. Underrated, hyper cheap, super budget A tier vanity, in my opinion. Little side knot on it I like. Um, that Tower of Hats this is like a PvP reward vanity. I think it's often forgotten, and I think it's really underrated i'm gonna put it in all up to a tier honestly i think it's interesting it really stands out in game like if you see someone wearing the tower of hats you kind of always notice it uh this is the grass elf bot i believe one of the better ones probably b tier the psyduck hat yeah it's hard to match with stuff but kind of funny c tier um f tier this actually i've seen look very cool this like plate people use this often this like metal plate as like the actual samurai hat i feel like it looks cooler uh, which I agree with. B tier is plenty for like a metal plate. Uh, this hat's whatever. Another elf bot that I really don't like the colors of. Uh, this can look cool when colored in different ways. The like, I don't know what it's called. Um, I don't like this at all. I'm sorry. Uh, the horns. Wait, these are cool. The, I've seen like red horns, purple. These actually, this is actually a really good vanity. Really simple, really basic, really cheap. I appreciate you buy these from Pokemarts. But these little, like, red horns, devil horns, whatever, these honestly can look a really nice little small extra touch on great outfits. Boring hat. Um, Team Magma hat, I've seen look pretty cool. We'll put it in C tier. This, I mean, uh, man, the motorcycle helmet. This is such an iconic outfit to Pokemo. Team Lyle, this was, like, their thing back in the day i'm gonna put it in a tier just to the just from the historical reference that this has to the game in my opinion is just astounding uh the santa hat i think is an a tier great classic looking vanity um i don't know what this is just some weird little yeah i don't know holly hair clip this vanity has a special place in my heart because i hated it it was a joke vanity back when it released during the event itself it was 20k back in 2015 or 2016 um, it was laughed at. It was easily the worst vanity in the game at the time. Um, constantly made fun of. Constantly bullied. Thought to be worthless. Was 20k at the time. Keep in mind. Now it's like an 80 mil, 100 mil vanity. And it's kind of growing on me. I'm making my mistakes with it. Um, F tier for that. F tier for captain's hat. F tier for this. Kitty ears. I mean C tier. Eh, honestly, the white kitty ears. Kind of B tier. Ghost outfit. This is a billion. This is, a, I believe, this is a one billion plus, maybe probably more. Vanity. This is an extremely expensive vanity. Um, speaking of, do we see the like Desu lab code and like East Storm and stuff on here? I'm curious. I, dude, it's totally possible I rated like Desu lab coat like an F. So I, dude, it's funny. Desu lab coat's like a 15 billion pokey in vanity, but I absolutely hate the look of it. It wouldn't surprise me if I've already rated the Desu lab coat and I gave it like a F tier. It would literally would not surprise me at all. Um, whatever uh ghost outfit you just don't see them it's kind of i like it's really brave to want to go for because it covers every if you have a ghost outfit you you show off no other vanities so it's so interesting to go for and i respect it for that i'm gonna put it a tier um backwards cap is at least actually c tier i was gonna say boring hat but honestly backwards cap this is also an underrated the like um i don't know what you would even call this um but i like it uh, the boring hat. 
top hat honestly solid c tier solid classic type hat skull helmet super underrated i would actually put this probably b or a i think it, i put it a at the time oh but but it has like that under i love that like the like bandana it comes with around your mouth looks very 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 cool um horn viking helmet honestly underrated b tier i don't see it very often um, some people love this, the, like, emerald knit hat. I think this is, like, akin to the Pokemon emerald, like, starter. It's, it's honestly not bad. Um, F tier for a, a more important... Ah, this is the Nutcracker hat, I believe. That's what it looks like to me. I don't really see it much. Kind of underrated, though. I kind of like the color scheme. Put it in C tier. Same with the Patriot hat. C tier for me, personally. This is, like, the Tricorn hat. Honestly, kind of goofy enough to worth C tier. Nurse hat. I think this is really underrated. I'm going to A tier. I'm going to blow a lot of minds there. I think it's cute. I think it's a si simple additions that can work really, really well on certain outfits are just super big to me. Um, This is the sweatband. This honestly, I can see C or B tier. I can see that working really well in certain outfits. Uh, also a backwards hat, but in like C tier. Another backwards hat, I believe. Um, is this just a beard? Is that what the is? What is this? Oh, just just a beard. We'll put it sure. Uh, I really like the this is the low punny bunny ears. We'll put it in like B tier, sure. The halo is a, once again just a static RP item, I believe, but really under. I think the halo looks fucking awesome. Uh, actually, B tier, not quite A. I think it's a really sick vanity though. We'll do B tier on that. The bow tie in the hair. This can be colorable to whatever you need: red, pink, blue, whatever. I think it's super good. Actually, a really cheap, really good budget vanity. I'd put it in B tier. Uh, what's happening here? What is this vanity? I can't really even tell. Uh, the Fez hat. I believe this. I think that's what this is. Some of them, it's colorable. Make it red. It's, you know, this should be red. Uh, the Fez hat's actually so underrated. I'd probably put it B tier. Almost A. Similar to the previous one. The Froakie hat. I, d I love Froakie. I don't like the way this looks at all. I'm sorry. Um, same with, like, this, like... This is a little better. We'll put it in C tier, but... Uh, the I like this the water the team aqua outfit a lot more than the team magma one. It's just a bandana. I'll put that in B tier honestly. Boring nothing like a tennis hat. Then F tier. Uh, red elf bot fire elf bot. At least put it in C. I don't know. I don't like the I don't like that it's two different reds. The fact that it's two different reds versus like a red and a white or red and black or something. Like that, it's just yeah. I don't think you're gonna match that well. Um, I don't know what this hat is, but it's underrated. Underrated enough to be like a C tier for like a whatever entity. Vampire Fangs, as you can see, they're they're very very minimally changed the character. Uh, these have grown on me. These are old vanities that are super expensive now. I really want to own a pair of Vampire Fangs. Uh, this is the red or black Reaper hood. I think this is better than the other one. Um, where did I put the other one at? Probably B or A tier. I'm going to put this one A tier. I think this one is actually pretty cool. Yeah, the Red Reaper hat's up here. I think this one's... I prefer that one, I think. But they're both very expensive. Very sought after vanities. I don't like this, like, bug catcher hat. Don't care. Um, this, I also... The Chespin hat, I really don't like. Ludicolo hat is at least, like, C tier. This is just a boring cap. Um, boring cap? Yeah, I guess it's like... This could be like a... Where's, like, the hood? It doesn't quite look like the hood. Whatever. Um... What is this? Like a nun's veil? I don't know if I've ever seen this in game ever, but I'll put it in C tier. Don't know if I've ever seen that in game. Fra just boring normal frog hat. I mean C tier. Um, green, very green. Is this is this the grass elf bot? We'll put it in like, e we'll put it in C tier. It looks better than the those double green green shades look better than the double red shades. Um, I can see this vanity working in a certain way. There's, there's so many, so many vanities placed at this point. This has became such a long video compared to what I expected. The cowboy hat, I will put it in like D tier. Maybe C, I can see it working in certain things. Um, a lot of these vanities that are white just can be colorable, so it's hard to tell how good they truly look on the on these images. Uh, this is like the boater or something. This is like the hero's hat. This has a lot of uh, historical significance as well. This was like a big vanity back in the day we'll put it b tier for that i don't really love the look but it was it was pretty historical uh this is a cool backwards cap honestly un b tier underrated like little store pokemon i believe bought uh sunglasses on funny hat not a fan football helmet i mean we'll put it like c or d it just doesn't look great but it's kind of funny um i don't like this at all but it's funny 
Uh, did you do water elf bot? Probably at least C tier, maybe. Or arguably B. I'm going to put it in C, but you could argue that to B or, or higher. Jack o' Lantern. I believe this is a 1 billion plus vanity. Jack o' Lantern mast. Very expensive. Very cool. Expense does, doesn't mean good, though. I'm going to put it in. Honestly, I feel like this should be A tier, though. I've definitely put a lot of exp I, there's a, expensive vanities that I, I would put F tier. Like the Desu Lab Coat. One, I, you know, that's F tier for me, honestly. On the way it looks. I, I don't like the way it looks at all. Uh, what is this? This is Santa's little helper hat. I think this is easily one of the better Santa hats. We'll put it in B tier. Honestly, arguably A. Teddy bear ears. Just a classic, cheap, budget vanity up to A tier. Easy peasy. Not even difficult. Um, little, like, black cat ears. We'll put in B tier. Piplup hat. D. Not a fan. Uh, the candy corn horns. I feel like these are like an RP. If these were harder to get, I would really like these. I'm, so, I'm going to put an A tier, honestly. I really like these. The candy corn combine, uh, that little, like combining those two elements of Halloween. I, I like that a lot. Um, the floppy bunny ears. I'm a fan. A tier. I think I wore these for a long time. A tier. Uh, the Finnick fox ears. I don't like. I'm sorry. I, I, this is like my, easily my least favorite part of Finnickin is like the hair and the ear. I don't like it. Uh, the Swablu hat's underrated. Kind of cool. Honestly, put it in B tier. Underrated, underrated. This is, this is like a uh, Sherlock Holmes. I'm, I'm not a fan. Sorry. Uh, this is, I don't know what this is, but it's underrated. Like a bandana, a green bandana type thing. I'd say under C to B. We'll put it in C. Zombie outfit. We'll put it in C. Kai, I like that it's a suit and tie. It's kind of funny. Or suit and tie adjacent. This is like the ice cream clerk outfit. Another C tier. Similar similar era to the zombie outfit. I don't know what this is. This is the football outfit. We'll put it in like D tier. It's like, it looks like football. Like football uniform. Pads. Um, this is like the fishing or something outfit. We'll put it in like D. It's, it's very It's very cheap. Very whatever. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't care. Uh, this is some armor. I don't... I'm not super familiar, but in C tier. Tiger outfit. But in C tier. At least it's like black and orange. Kind of interesting. Tamer outfit. Very, very cool one. A tier. Uh, the upgraded Tamer outfit is out. People are memeing on the Zodiac Dragon outfits. Just better, kind of. Uh, which I don't see the Zodiac Dragon outfit on this list. Which, I mean, you know, it, there's a lot of it. This is... I know the Bud Catcher outfit, I believe. I don't like the way that looks at all. We're gonna put that in F tier. Uh, these are the uh, Charizard robes, the like fire dragon robes or something they're called. I think these are pretty cool. I think these are actually A tier. Um, I didn't like them when they, I did not like them when they came out. They grew on me. This is like the Superman outfit or something. Iron Man outfit. Um, yeah, it's C tier. I could see it working honestly with some really good outfits. They're like Incineroar, <clears throat> um, body. D tier for it's pretty honestly C tier. I like the black and red. Shinigami robes underrated. Everybody got their eyes on it though. I feel like fantastic, pretty budget still body slot. That I think that'll be another vanity to go up go up in value pretty aggressively over time. Um, the presents I put these in C tier. I think they're goofy enough to where it's funny enough to where they deserve the C tier. So sure. There you go. Some people love this vanity, the thick winter coat. And it's growing on me. I'll put it in B tier. It's growing on me. Um, looks really good with certain outfits. The blue glistening robes and the purple glistening robes. Blue are going to get B tier for me. Purple are going to get like A to S, man. I Man, these are... I really do like these. Um, I almost... I wish I had like an S plus tier or something. I feel like I should have like put more stuff into S tier. But no, this does honestly pretty much line up, I will say. Okay. S tier should be pretty. This is like the Raikou robes. These are solid B tier, not as good as the Charizard robes. Uh, the green and red Christmas, you know, the goofy present box. Is this the, what is this? I don't think this is the fairy elf bot, is it? I thought the other one was, but um, I mean, I like it. It's solid. I'll put it in B tier. Obama snow outfit. Honestly, kind of underrated. I'll put it in C. Honestly, I can see that going in B. And this is some, just, I don't know, another, another animal body slot. I'm going to put it in, in honestly, F tier. I mean, I could see it work for some neutral, whatever, D tier. 
There it is. That's my list. There are so many vanities in Pokemon. This isn't even all of them, I think. Here, we're going to lightly browse through all of them. Here's the F tier going from bottom to top. Honestly, one that stands out here is the Miss Magius hat being an F tier is kind of harsh, but whatever. Uh, up to D tier. Some notable things to call out. The reindeer antlers, um, the Gyarados hat, the Pharaoh hood. Yep. Uh, C tier, pig mask, golden rabbit, Psyduck Ludicolo, tiger outfit, the sweet tune hat, the crowbat hat, the crowbat hat, pretty notable stuff. B tier, now we're getting into some actual, like, pretty damn good vanities, the scythe, the bug catcher, the angel wings, the, these rabbit hats, the, the green Cthulhu, the Drasidua flower, the shadow skull helmet, A tier, so much of this is so good to me, I'm actually, yeah, going through, I'm pretty happy with this list. Um, Tower of ha Pillar of Hats, Tower of Hats, um, Holly Hair Clip, Jack O' Lantern Mask. Some of these you won't even find on the GTL because they're like, if they're like, if a vanity is worth more Pokeyen than the max cash stack, so like the Jack O' Lantern Mask and the Ghost, I believe you won't find them on the GTL because why would someone sell it for like the max cash is like 2.2 bill or something like that? Some little like RuneScape. Um, no, yeah, more notable stuff Red Eyeball Masks, Dragon Mounts, Red, the Skull Helmet I love, Samurai Armor. Okay, the clown, the jester outfit being up here is kind of crazy, but I, wait, did I misclick the Rattata outfit up here? Let me move that down to at least B. That's kind of insane. Why would that be A tier? Uh, anyways, okay. <clears throat> Pretty happy with this list, honestly. Here it is, S tier. The the few vanities that get S tier for me. The, the bunny rabbit tail, the lollipop glove slot, the glistening purple wings, the flimmy motorcycle, the Christmas sleigh, the afro, the koban, and the ice cream hat thank you guys so much for watching this fun little video if you watch this whole thing you're a god thank you so much make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it dislike if not that's okay subscribe to the channel for daily pokemon videos follow the twitch for streams monday through thursday at 12 p.m et discord's links down below and if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal slash venmo do go an extremely long way thanks so much for watching have a great day have fun playing pokemon there's so many creative ways to enjoy this game and so many things to explore and just do it's just never let anybody tell you there's nothing to do. Never let anybody tell you that you're out of content. There's always something. It's all about being creative and setting your own goals. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Areno.